mountains die, but these relics will last forever. That's an engagement. Welcome, warrior. Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the Nine Worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Hafton the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varin wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Sulke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chadve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward. I should cut you down. No! Tanga! I did no harm! I will judge that! Your treachery ends here. Please, I never betrayed Farron. On my life! I was frightened and I fled, and when I returned, everyone was gone or dead! And yet you looted our dead, battered the ashes of their lives. It was all I could find. I sold nothing for a long time, but the weight grew too heavy and I needed to eat, to survive! This is not living. Without honor, we're worse than beasts, and have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. This world is all I know, and this life all I have left. Would you take that from me? Take anything you want from my shop. Take everything. Just let me live. May the gods grant you better luck than I have seen. <laughs> 